One of the reasons why I decided to do music, even when I was a child, I somehow had the feeling there is something in it that I can use for my own development and that I can also then transport and show to other people. It's a way of not only expressing yourself, but also getting in touch with yourself. What I like about the program is that all the pieces can stand for themselves, but they also form a larger entity. And this is because all three pieces are about emotional transformation. I think each of the pieces in itself is a journey and what makes the pieces so similar, even though they are from very different epochs, is that they all exemplify this journey. They are all extremely well composed and extremely stringent. You have a very clear progression. With the Wanderer fantasy you have a very really simple theme and then this theme changes character completely. In the first movement it is very outgoing and it's the beginning of a journey in C major and then in the second movement it goes to C sharp minor and the theme completely changes character and becomes extremely inward and extremely vulnerable. And then in the third movement it really changes completely again, it becomes very dance-like. And in the fourth movement we reach a grand coda. And it's always 100% the same theme, but you need to look at the details to recognize that it's the same theme because it's so varied. So for me the wonder fantasy is really an emotional journey and it's really like a life journey. With the uh, Liszt Sonata it's very clear that he is alluding to the Faust mythology because we have two very different themes from the beginning that are fighting all the time to the very end and this is of course Faust who is questioning life, who is thinking why am I here, what is the meaning and this is a character that I can really identify with especially when I was younger I had these phases when I really didn't know what's going on and then we have Mephisto who is taking his questions and leading him astray in different ways and he's trying all these different possibilities in life and this is really psychologically extremely interesting because the Mephisto theme can change character completely. He can be very martialic or very evil but he can also be extremely seductive and extremely gentle and almost like caressing. combination of the modern piece by Stefan Heuke and the two older pieces was like an immediate choice because you can see from the score that Stefan is inspired by the Wanderer fantasy and by the Liszt sonata because the pieces have so many similarities. You have the similarity in the form and then also in the emotional content because they all have one concept or one conflict, one idea that is developed in the entire form. With Stefan you also have a very simple idea. You have a chorale that he chose, a Bach chorale, Nu danket alle Gott. And then you have the B-A-C-H theme. And um, these two themes, these are the material that the entire sonata is composed of. And again, he manages to get so many different characters out of these two very simple themes. And this way of composing, you can really see that he is a great fan of Schubert and a great fan of Franz Liszt, and especially of these two pieces. With Schubert, I have the feeling we are on Earth and we are looking over to the other world. And with Stefan Heuck, sometimes we are already in the other world and we are looking back to life from this other perspective. There is a special color that I want to talk about in, in Stefan Heuke, which is those very high notes. And he had conversations later with people who had a near-death experience. And they say that their experience during this time when they were dead was similar to this music. It's this very glaring, very 
direct, like a laser cutting through everything. So I think it's a unique feature of his pieces that he brings all the time. It's very special. I, I like to meditate. I don't really um, go in a deep state of sitting down for days and meditating, but I like to get aware of the emotions when they occur. So sometimes I take like 10 minutes and I just, if I feel there is something, there is an emotion, then I try to get in touch with it. I brought a um, sword, it's a Japanese bokuto. And it's sort of a wooden version of the katana. And it's a very old tradition from Japan. For me, it's more about the inner aspect that it's a very special energy that it represents. Sometimes if you want to make a clear decision or a clear cut, then it really helps to get in touch with this energy. It's a very strong symbol. So sometimes when I'm feeling in a certain mood, I like to use it and just experiment with what it does. And sometimes I bring it to recordings and then people ask, oh, what is it? And it's always a nice conversation. <laughs> and the, the important aspect, I think, is that nothing gets lost. Like you can, you can cut with sword, you can cut through. And the parts are still there and then they can integrate. So I, if you use it wisely, you can't really destroy anything. And this is also what's shown in the pieces, in all of the pieces. They have themes and the themes change all the time but still there is something behind the essence that stays the same and maybe that's the central message actually of the program and of this composition with the CD.